Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you the different selection options available in view grid including cell, checkbox and toggle selection. I will open the example created in my getting started video for view data grid. You can get this example from the link provided in the description part below or in the card shown above. Here, a simple grid code is added and the local JSON data is assigned to the grid's data source property. Also, I have displayed only selective columns using eColumns customization. There are two selection types available in grid, single and multiple. By default, the single selection type is enabled. To enable multiple selection, you need to set the selection type to multiple. Further, let me create a variable, selection options, and set the type to multiple. And assign the settings to the selection settings property of grid. In this way, you can enable the multiple selection of records in the data grid. Here, I can press Ctrl key and select multiple rows. In addition to the selection types, there are three different types of selection modes. Row, cell and both. These selection modes allow the user to select either the required cells or an entire row. The default selection mode is row. To change the selection mode, set its mode property to cell in the selection settings. Now you can select only the cells in the data grid. If you set it to both, you can select both cells and rows at the same time. Cell selection can be of two types, flow and box. The default selection is flow. When I select a cell, press shift key and click another cell and all the cells between those two cells will be selected. The other option is box. Set the cell selection mode to box under selection settings. When I select a cell, press the shift key and click another cell. Only the cells corresponding to the columns that lie on the selection range will be selected like a box. With checkbox selection, you can select multiple records by using the checkbox on each row. Here, cell selection will not work together with the checkbox selection. To enable checkbox selection, Set the type of specific column to checkbox. This will enable a checkbox in each row and using them you can select multiple rows. By default, I can select the rows either by clicking a grid row or a checkbox in that row. To allow selection only through a checkbox, I will include checkbox only option and set it to true under selection settings. Here. You can perform selection only using a checkbox. Other than default checkbox selection mode, you can also set reset on row click to the checkbox mode. This will reset all the previous selections when the user clicks on a row. To select multiple rows, the user must press the control button and select the desired rows. Toggle selection allows you to select or unselect a row or a cell. By default, this selection is enabled in grid. You can disable this behavior by setting the enable toggle property to false under selection settings. You can set the data grid component to select a specific row during its initial rendering. To achieve this, set the selected row index property to the index of a desired row. This way you can select the row during initial rendering. You can get the index of selected rows using the get selected row indexes method. I will create a callback function for row selected event which will trigger after the rows are selected in the data grid. To use the get selected row indexes method, 
I have added the ref property to the grid component. And assign a grid instance to a variable. If the grid instance is not null, call the method get selected row indexes and show the index in alert. This will return a number array that contains the selected row indexes. And I can prevent the row selection based on certain conditions using the row selecting event of a grid. This event will be triggered before selecting the rows. Check the documentation from the link provided in the description part below to learn more about selection in view grid. Let me summarize what we have seen so far. I showed you the different selection types and selection modes of data grid component. Then we have seen how to enable cell checkbox and toggle selection. And finally, I showed you how to perform row selection on its initial rendering and the way to get selected row indexes using row selection events. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.